Hi, this is O'Connor again, you got us, and I want to talk to you about these little things here. These are hard drives, and we all have hard drives these days, and like that. Like... I wouldn't buy it. You must, you've got to wonder about the quality of these hard drives. Are all hard drives the same? I don't know, but let's, let's check it out with the hammer shall we because I've got some news to show you in a minute we're going to open up some of these hard drives but I've been trying out we've got the Buffalo this is a two terabyte hard drive uh, made in China the we've got the Toshiba made in China this is the Toshiba and it's a three terabyte uh, Cavio very nice hard drive here is our Western Digital this is your this is your My Passport, very common variety, and that's the product of Thailand. And then we have our Seagate, Seagate 2 terabyte, the lightest of the bunch, assembled in Thailand. And of course, if you want to go heavier, then you may want to go for a product like this. We have an outer shell like Orico, and then you just buy the, the internal drive separately and you put it inside this drive shell and it's got its own power power base here and also USB 3 for high speed data transfer and we've got another buffalo here this is a six terabyte drive that you buy here we have the USB 3 and also we've got the power source so we can talk about these until the cows come home but I did once have a Seagate 4 four terabyte drive and one day I just happened to drop it like this and it was gone broken gone just like that didn't work anymore so I told myself don't buy a drive that stands up like this always buy one that sits down like this and so it won't fall down it won't fall down this it's a little bit more stable than this narrow one here so but I put it up against a bookshelf so it actually has stability there and it won't fall over so you've got to be very careful with these big ones okay so what about what are the what is the best one out of these because and how do you know when they say made in China is it made in China or assembled in Thailand is it made in Thailand what about the insides of these you don't know why because if you have a look very close look at the back it says void void if you void if it it, it doesn't work anymore like that's crazy right void if you open up like this that means I cannot get the warranty uh, support because I open this up and you're not allowed to do that it's void right void if open you know that every one of these drives if you mess with the screws you mess with the with the stickers it's void you cannot warranty well what happened with this one is it just one day I got two terabytes of data then one day I go to open it up and it doesn't work at all just hopeless doesn't work at all it doesn't work anymore just like that no good like what on earth is good having a warranty when you lose all your data like that that is total rubbish but now that I opened it up uh, you know, I, I couldn't be, I couldn't care about getting a warranty and getting a replacement one. I want my hard drive to work properly. All right, look at that. Look at that. Where is that made? That's a Samsung drive inside a Seagate. A Samsung drive inside a Seagate assembled product. And this Samsung drive is made a product of China. So Seagate is importing the Samsung and putting it inside their Seagate drives like that like I wouldn't buy it that's a fraud like why would you buy a hard drive and trust your data 
with something like that. And I thought, okay, that's just a once-off because I like these small ones. These small thin ones are very, very handy and they're very light compared to the Toshiba, compared to the HP, compared to the Buffalo. These are very light. And so I thought, oh, that's a once-off. It stopped working, no good. Not until then, another one. I've got another Seagate here. Actually, I've got three of them. The second one, I go to open up, and it fails one day. It doesn't work either. Oh, all right, so let's have a look. Lo and behold, Samsung inside. What a load of rubbish. Like, why don't you tell us what's on the inside? Are we buying a Samsung or are we buying a Seagate? All right, this is supposed to be Seagate. This is supposed to be a top drive, all right? But again, rubbish, rubbish. It doesn't work anymore. Why would you trust your data with a nice thin drive like this when it doesn't work? This is the third one, and guess what? This one doesn't work anymore either. Like, I have, I have to format it. I, I transfer in data the other day, and it stopped working. I can't believe it. This is the third Seagate hard drive that I found doesn't work. I've opened them up and you've got a Samsung drive inside. Like, who knows what you're buying these days? What a, I can't believe it. Like, so what am I left with? What would you buy? What would I buy now? I'd never ever buy the Seagate again. Like, you know, the insides. I want my data protected. I don't want a drive that fails. Uh, so the best out of these is, uh, I see the Buffaloes are working very, very well. Very happy with the Buffalo. Uh, HP still coming through, and but I love the Toshiba. I love the Toshiba because they seem to have a reliability about them. And I've got two of these now, and they're working very, very well. And these basically the same size as the HP and but these are three terabyte rather these only two terabyte so there you go this is O'Connor trying out some hard drives to stay away from those really thin ones because a three out of three now not working unbelievable can't believe it so be careful what you buy out there it may be cheap it may be light but it may not work catch you in the next session bye for now